Hey, this is Brandon Smitley from BrandonSmitley.com and EliteFTS.com bringing you once again another training log video with commentary. This is week five, day one of meat prep here working with squat and deadlift. Um, today's training session was a bit lighter on the squat and more of a deadlift emphasis. Um, so I took 355 for two sets of four with um, my squat and I went, decided to go beltless. Um, the weight's light enough that I'm able to do so. I don't do a ton of beltless work. Um, I kind of went by feel today. I basically told myself, you know, if, it, if 315 feels good without a belt, then um, I'll take 355. But if it feels sloppy and not the way I wanted it to, then I'd slap a belt on. But it felt pretty good. Um, and I actually like this because it. Uh, it made me stay way tighter and that's really all I'm trying to do here. I'm really not trying to actually get any stronger with this. I'm just trying to uh, keep the uh, movement pattern good and uh, just keep a little bit of weight on my back. So nothing too drastic there but pretty solid with that. And then I had um, 425 for two triples on the followed by 445 for three doubles. Um, these were so so. I'm not going to say that they were the best pull I've ever had. Um, some sets were much better than others. Um, I think it was my second set of um, 45 where uh, I did the best, but the third double. At 445, that second rep was not too clean. Got a little bit stuck coming off the ground. I mean, the bar was still moving, but it almost just like it hit me like a ton of bricks. I don't know if I just didn't have the slack out or what was going on there. But and then I uh, also moved on to some block pulls off mats, whatever. Um, I just took 455 for a double. At this point, I was smoked. Um, that's still 50% of my comp. Or I'm sorry. 90% on my comp pull, and that's all I was really looking for is to get a feeler around an opener and just kind of handle some weight and shut it down. Uh, then you can see accessory work was pretty light, reverse lunges and abs, and that was it. Uh, thanks for checking in, and as always, you can get my training logs on EliteFTS.com.